What's up, my fellow disc golf fans? Welcome to the 2024 Truckee Hula Bowl. Uh, we're filming here the lead card, the final round, the front 10. My name is Brian Rio Frio. I go by Brio, and I am super stoked to be here with you guys doing commentary. Shout out Premium Disc Golf for uh, having me on. Let's get into it. Will Ling from Reno, Nevada, rated 1,000. Kid's a stud. We're going to be seeing him a lot this year. Andres De Lau. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ontario, California, rated 960. Kid's a shooter too. We got Quinn Berkovitz from Reno, Nevada as well. Rated 989. Look at those shades, bro. Shredding. Uh, Ryan Bain, State Line, Nevada. Rating 956. And Dustin Avenger, aka Sketch. One of my favorite disc golfers right here. 970 rated. All right, let's check out the leaderboard here. We got Will Ling five strokes ahead. Um, we got a tie for second. Three people, Andres, Quinn, and Ryan. Dustin down there at 15. Um, Alex, Steve, Brian, me, Andrew. You know, we're, you know, top 10 right there. A few strokes off. All right, hole one, dog leg right. We got a junk yard to the right that you definitely want to stay away from. Will looks like he's kind of heading there. It is OB if you go in there. He clapped, so I think he was safe. Um, I think sidearm's a play. I mean, I do backhand turnover, but I saw a lot of players getting down there sidearm. And look at Andreas right there. Boom. I think I was on hole two, actually. That, that's, that went deep. He, he actually skipped past the basket. Quinn going sidearm as well. Dead straight. Hits the center tree there. Ryan's gonna go sidearm too. Yeah, it's a it, it's it's a it's a sidearm play. Fluffs it a little bit. Oh, look, there you go. OB. He probably found that junkyard on the backside there. There is a net, so you can get a little lucky, but I think that he went over it. Sketch going sidearm as well. Money right down the pipe. I think, again, I was on hole two. He went deep as well, I think. Quinn going Zephyr, I think. Zephyr sidearm, savage. Quinn loves that Zephyr. He could probably shoot it like 10 down on this course with just a Zephyr. Not this layout, though. This, this round, it was extra crispy. So everything's on C, basically on the farthest positions. Ryan right there with the easy layup. I helped move the baskets. Shout out LaFond, Chris LaFond. He helped move the baskets as well during the, between the first and second round. And then I did it before the third. Andres with the quick layup. Yeah, see, he went, he went deep on that sidearm. He even skipped down there. Same with Dustin. Dustin with the birdie putt. Mm. A little bit to the right. Quinn with the straddle to save his par. Money. Quinn told me actually that he moved to straddle this year so far. He's been feeling more comfortable with it, which is interesting. I actually respect that and tried that. And it helped me a lot. Dustin with that spinny par save. Will for his par putt. Yep. And then Ryan with the OB stroke, he's going to be tapping in for a four right here. Not a lot of birdies on this hole. It was a tough one. Yeah, only two on the day. Nate and Alex. Shout out Nate and Alex. Hole two. This is going to be a Heiser shot or a flick up the middle. Pretty simple shot, I would say. That was looking really good. You're gonna wanna get this one on this layout, 100%. Andres going with the sidearm up the middle. It's gonna fade out a little early. Should have a putt though. Ooh, bad skip. Quinn gonna go backhand Heiser. Quinn's got such a smooth shot. 
so controlled. I think that went deep too, down the hill a little bit. Look at me and me and Dustin right there in the same jerseys, teeing off at the same time. Nice rock. There was a big backup on hole three, so you can see us still chilling there. Ryan with the wide hyzer, I like that play a lot. Oof. Good shot. Yeah, this is where Andres ended up after that skip. He's going to have a long birdie look. Comes up a little short. Quinn with the straddle jump. Went a little deep for a birdie. Cash is it. I looked back and saw that one because I'm always trying to pay attention to what Quinn's doing back there. Dustin for the birdie. Money. Ryan for the birdie. Good bird. Will should just be right there. Yep. On to hole three. Like I said, this hole two, you're definitely going to want to get. Hole three, it goes to uh, a real tough, real tough par three right here. Some even said it should have been a par four. This is a long 367. You want to hit that gap all the way along the road. The road plays as a river. So that's probably going to be safe. You have to be actually surrounded by the road for it to be OB. The play on this one is just to get clean and get into a good position to get your second shot. Walk away with the three. Be happy going on to hole four. Yep. Wow. He's probably gonna have a jump putt at that. Nice shot. Dustin going backhand. Float, float. That's gonna be fine. Yep, he shrugs, says it's fine. Ryan with the backhand. Hits the gap. That's out there. You're fine with that. You're happy with that. You hit one of these early trees. It's a scramble the whole way. Scramble the whole way. Andres with a little high. He still might even be okay from there. It's going to be a long shot. It was probably like 250. Maybe even more. Heiser's to the left there. He's going to have a look at it. There's that big bush that you want to get around. But they cut down a, some branches on that tree right in front of the basket, which actually gives you more of a look if you're in front of it. It used to not be. You can't, can't be in front of that tree. Ryan close to the road. Likes the upshot. That's going to be a putt for a par. Sketch from downtown. Floats it. Yeah. It's going to be right there. Look at Quinn with his sidearm. Wow. Has a weird, awkward jump putt, but. Yeah. That was a tough one to go for. Good layup. Go for a par. Mm. A little low for Andres, too. Ryan. Good par. Nice. So, Will's going to lose a stroke here to Quinn. With that bogey. Oh, 
Nice. Yep. The rest of these are just gonna be tap ins. I love that there was not one birdie on this hole. Not all day. It's a really tough get. Hole four. 292. You don't want to go down that hill. Let's just say that. Quinn ropes this one. The plays almost to just lay it up. He really went for that. He might even have faded down there on the left of that hill. Should be fine though. You just don't want to hit early. This was in the C position, so it's deeper than the first two days. Backhand turnover is preferred, but the flick to just lay it up is not a bad play either. Ryan trying to get a little aggressive as well. Ooh, good turnover. Hmm, nice shot, Ryan. Will going lefty. Kid's got it all. Lefty, righty, backhand and sidearms. It's a little early though. Andreas with the flick play. I don't I like this. Cause that's just gonna put you right up on top of that hill and then you're gonna have a pitch down at it. If you don't roll. Which I don't know. It looked like maybe Ryan's mom was watching it roll a little bit. Will with the sidearm to punch through. Hmm, we're, we're going to see where that ends up. There's a pine tree, which you can't really see yet, but it's right next to it. Dustin has a shot up at it. Yep, there it is. Oh, wow, Quinn did fade way down the hill to the left of it. Just pured the gap deep. Good layup. Like Brian was in the same spot. Wow. Yeah, honestly, that's that's fine. If you do do that play, you usually hit something. So I didn't. I went all the way down almost to the river, and I freaking double bogeyed it. So I got unlucky on my home course. Andres with a par putt. Good putt. You're gonna want to. You're gonna want to par this hole. That's fine. Walk away with your par. I think it might have been a little bit of a mistake to put it on this hole because there was a big hard backup that we didn't see because we were in front of it. But I think there was actually like a five card backup on this hole. And, and I think maybe, maybe I could have left it at B. <laughs> I got stunned by a wasp and got sap all over my hand. On this, on this hole. I don't know if you guys heard Will say that, but he got stung by a wasp and he got sap all over his hand when he was down there. I remember Quinn asked him after the round, how was your trip down there? It's pretty funny. These kids like to have a little beef while they play. That's crazy. Stung by a wasp and sap. This one, hole five. And there's a row of trees. You're going to want to pump over that on a backhand turnover. That's the best shot. And that's still going to leave you with a gap to get through to even have a look at the basket. It's a tough birdie. Ryan going backhand turnover as well. A little tight, a little high. I'm not sure where that ended up. Maybe past the row of trees. That's what you want to do. Get past the row of trees. The sidearm play here. Andres has a huge sidearm. That might not be a bad play. We're going to have to see where that ended up. When this course is set long, it is not easy, guys. You can get punished. And Will is going down the hill. Yep. It just faded out. You that These hills, look at, oh my goodness. Let's see if he gets stung number two. Wow. 
Wow. You could hear them say nice shot. That was a really good shot from down there. So the basket's right by that big log, maybe in front of it, through that gap. Quinn's going to go Zephyr. Seems like he got over those row of trees. That's going to be a run at the basket, a little left. Ryan got over the trees. This is going to be a flick through the gap. He's in prime location right there. I mean, you could even give that a little bit of a run. Will's going Baobab. Spiking it into the ground. To, uh, ugh. Comes up early, hits the tree. Andres with a bid. Ooh. That was for birdie. He's definitely going to want to can this one. Money. Bogey save. Wow. That was a great bogey save, Will. From all the way down there. Good par. Quid for par. Yep. Sneaks it in there. Dusted for par. All right, looks like we got four pars and one bogey from Will. A two over, one over, even, and one down going into hole six. I'm telling you, man, this setting is not easy. Hole six, par three, C position on the left. That's basically what you want to do right there. You're going to want to spike Heiser it and kind of punch through those trees right there. Just like Quinn did. Dustin's going to try to do the same thing. Come on, sketch. Yup. Push. Ooh. That probably got pretty close. All right. Swing. Some ground play. Yep. You can kind of see it skip over there. There's a little gap that you could actually... You can't see from here, but... That's how those discs you are seeing punched through there. There's a little gap. Same with Andres. They're going to all be putting for sure. You can see that Quinn is now just two strokes back from Will after having a five-stroke lead after five holes. Quinn for birdie. Cash. Oh, I forgot to give a shout out to Alex on hole five. He was the only birdie on that hole. Alex Kalanji, my dog. Good birdie. Andres for birdie. Ooh, little low, but sneaks in. Good bird. Will to get back on track. There it is, kid. And Ryan went a little deep for birdie as well. Look at that. I think Dustin's the only par there. All right, we're coming up to the, the Rio Frio village. My trailer's right over there along the left. The only hole I bogeyed. My backyard hole. Seven to the left. B position, 220. Quinn went a little long there, but he should be putting right down at it. You just want to do a mid-range slight hyzer at it. He just threw that money. Could skip off a rock. That's going to be right there, too. That branch that's in the middle of the fairway is a new addition to the hole. I think from the big snow year we got two years ago, waited on some of these trees. And then we got a big, big storm this year that was really heavy and wet and it actually made some trees lean like that. It's definitely a new addition. Some people aren't liking it, but I think it adds a little bit of a, a little spice to it. Ooh, Dustin doesn't like it. Yeah, that was a little early. There's a trailer, me and wifey. Dustin, 
Oh, on the back side. I always think he's making those. That kid's a shooter. <laughs> Nubs it in again. Good bird, Quinn. Will, stay on track. Oh. Huh. So that puts Quinn one away from Will. Got Ryan at 17. He's three back. Andre's four back. And Dustin four back. This is, We got a game, folks. This is not that five-stroke lead that we saw in the beginning of the round. We're going to go on to 7C next. This is a, a temp hole. A little safari hole. Ashley added this hole so she can add more players. So shout out Ashley for doing that. No T-pad, straight ahead. We have it at 277. I think it's like 260, 267. Heiser backhand or, or sidearm. It's straight up the middle there. You can see the basket. I'm going like a classic rock right down the middle on this hole. Ooh, a little early, but that's going to putt. You definitely don't want to go down that hill, so the sidearm play is going to help you that. But that was a little early. You can see him kick the ground. It's tough with no tee pad there. That, that loose dirt doesn't help. Nice lefty backhand, Will. That's looking good. He's focused. He's in zen mode. Dustin. Nice shot. Yep. Andres from a long look. Oof. He's got that spinny putt, so that's a scary one for him. He doesn't want to blow past that too much. Quinn with the straddle. Just misses left. See? Yeah, he went a little deep. Oh, no. Oh, man. It's tough when you've got that footing on that downhill slope. And it's hot out, too. We're hitting at, like, by 10 o'clock, it was, like, 86, 85, which is hot for Truckee. It was a scorcher out there. Quinn with the par. Staying on track. Okay. Dustin with that bird. Good shot, D. Andre's going to tap in his bogey. Mm. All right, so we'll just birdie that to keep him go back to three-stroke lead from Quinn. Par for Ryan. A little frustration there. That's another one you're going to want to get in this setting. Hole eight, same thing. Ah. This is the one to get, too. You almost want to just go backhand Heiser just like that. That's my play. That's the play. Zephyr from Quinn. Ah, same branch as well. It's a tight gap when you try to go straight. I think in tournament play, the hyzer is the move. Because once you start trying to narrow it down and the pressure's on and stuff, you start making little mistakes that are kind of unnecessary. But Andres could uh, do the hyzer play too. Even with that tree kick, I mean, he's probably only 30 out. Will Baobab. Hmm. Gets a little caught up, but that's still inside the circle right there. Quinn with a big send. Good layup. Yeah, see, so Andres hit that tree, and he's only... I only want to say he's still in the circle. Oh, good get. Nice. That feels good after that bogey. Nice. 
Well, with the par, good par save. Ryan for the bird. Went a little deep with the backhand hyzer, but that's all day. Puts into 19. Three back from the lead now. See, Quinn's just going to kind of... Good bird, Dustin. Par save for Quinn. All right. Going on to hole nine. Par three, C position. The longest position on this, on this hole. Dustin's going way outside. It's gonna be a little short and to the right. Gonna wanna penetrate a little bit more than that. Ryan with the big hyzer too. You almost would wanna go flat, but when you got the arm to go just go big hyzer, why not? I'm gonna say that might be a little short as well. Got the Truckee River going along this whole course. This course is definitely uh, a sight to see personally. I'm born and raised right up the street, so I've been playing here since I was about seven years old. And it's embarrassing to say that after what I shot this weekend. <laughs> Quinn pumped that. Ryan with a straddle jump. Ooh, good bid. That was probably about 50. Not more. Andres with a big bid too. Dustin for birdie. Yeah, a little short, but... ah, Maybe just lost a little bit of focus there. Quinn's going to go straddle. Nubbed it in. Wow. He wasn't lying when he said he nubbed him in. Good. That, that keeps Will on track. Andres for the par, and Dustin's going to tap in his par as well. And Ryan will do the same. Check out... um. Ryan's Instagram, man. He's got some cool stuff going on on there. I checked it out the other day. He does some cool trick shots, and it's actually pretty sweet. He's got a good following over there, so check it out. Look at that. Quinn in two back started five back. Wow. Andrew again, four down. He's playing good right now. That's good. Alex just jumped up. He's three down. He's only about four or five back. Andres kind of lost a little bit of pace. Brian Peterson up there. Evan Osgood. Peter Keen. Nice. Some good names up there. All right. I'll see you over on the um, back nine. Thanks.